Aloha, my friends. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. How you doing so far today? Are you staying positive? Are you focused on the positives and letting all those negatives roll on by? Remember, you can do it. PMA, Positive Mental Attitude. Everything's better when you focus on your PMA. Focus on the positives. Develop that habit of a positive mental attitude. And I'm positive you're going to enjoy this right here. And hey, check it out. You got to be why they sleep. I excel. Be like that. Always be learning. Just like last week, uh, we talked about the XLOOKUP. I introduced the XLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP can replace the VLOOKUP because the XLOOKUP looks up to the left, to the right, up, down, all kinds of ways. Then you've got the XLOOKUP. I demonstrated how to use the XLOOKUP to look up uh, two different values. And I demonstrated that the XLOOKUP in this particular cell spilled right over to this cell so we only have one x lookup looking up two values then we learned how to use the x lookup to look up a, a range and then today we're going to learn this right here i'm going to show you how to quickly put in some data validation that's going to allow us to activate our x lookups so we're going to have an X lookup inside of an X lookup. We've got an X lookup right in here that looks up the gross profit. Whoops. We've got an X lookup right in here that looks up the gross profit for this quarter right here. So one X lookup is going to go right down this array until it finds whoops, until it finds gross profit. And then another X lookup is going to look right up here in that array. And when it finds, for example, in this case, quarter one, gross profit and quarter one are going to match right there. Like an index and match, except it's a X lookup inside of an X lookup. Woohoo! How's that sound? Pretty cool. All right. Check it out. All right, there it is. There's our spreadsheet all set up and we're ready to go. So the first step is going to be we're going to put in our X lookup right inside this cell to look up the gross profit. We're just going to need to know the gross profit for which quarter. So that's going to be another X lookup. So we're going to say equals because that's how we command Excel. Excel, boo, do this. So we're gonna say X lookup. And now I'm gonna tab right into it and click on my formula builder. This is called the insert function tool in Excel for Windows, Microsoft 365. And in Office, Microsoft 365 for Mac or Excel for Mac, this is called the formula builder. So the lookup value, what are we looking up? We're looking up the gross profit. Okay, cool. I'm not going to anchor that because I'm going to copy this formula on over here and I'm going to be looking up the net profit and the profit percentage. So I want this so reference to remain relative. I'm not going to make it absolute. The lookup array. This is the lookup array. It's going to find the gross profit. Now I want to anchor because when I copy the formula on over to look up net profit and profit percentage, I want to remain in this array right here. So I'm going to press F4. F4 is your friend. Now for the return array, it's going to be another VLOOKUP. So I'm just going to uh, type in the VLOOKUP right here and then step into it. VLOOKUP and I'm going to step into it in the formula bar. Okay, so right inside the lookup value. Now, first X lookup, look up the gross profit. The gross profit for what? The, the gross profit for quarter one. Now, I'm going to anchor 
this lookup value in this X lookup. So I'm gonna press F4 is your friend because when I copy the formula on over right here, when I copy it on over, I want this to remain absolute. I'm anchoring it. So I pressed F4 to anchor. And now the table array, hey, where is that Q1, Q2, Q3? Right up in here. Now let's anchor that to F4. Oops, I'm doing a V lookup here. I need an X lookup. Let's change that. See what happened? Cancel. It's an X lookup that I'm doing over here. There we go. <laughs> you see? I'm so used to doing V lookups and H lookups that uh, I'm still in that habit. But the X lookup is going to replace. You may have to use the V lookup at some point in some occasion or the H lookup. But pretty much the X look or, or the X lookup is going to replace your index and match V lookup and H lookups. So the lookup array is our quarter one, quarter two through the total. And then the return array is this range right over here. And then I'm going to press F4 to anchor. I'm not going to use any of the other arguments in here. You can go back to some of the other XLOOKUP videos that I've done and you'll be able to find where I discuss those uh, these additional arguments if not found match mode search mode all right so it's looking like we've got it all set up over here we've got a result cool we can look up our formula the x lookup the first x lookup looks up the gross profit in c1 it finds gross profit gross profit in that array and then we do an x lookup that looks up the argument in b1 or b2 which is quarter one this tells Excel to look it up right in here. And then right over here, this argument tells Excel to look up in this range of data. So now we press OK, click, and there we have our gross profit for quarter one. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the autofill handle right here. Left click and drag it on over. And because everything's anchored and in place, we're fine. We just need to go ahead and change the formatting here for profit percentage to formatting. So we can easily just right click. When in doubt, right click. Nothing happens. Left click. Nothing happens. Check your options. So I'm going to put in the percent style. And I'm going to increase the decimal point by just one. There we have it. And so now for quarter one, we have our gross profit of 25000 which in quarter one, the gross profit is 25000 the net profit is going to be, see we keep on going all the way down to net profit. And there it is. And the same thing for our profit percentage. We look at Q1, profit percentage, and there it is, just like that. Now, let's do the data validation that goes right in here. So we put our marquee right in cell B2 where you want the data validation to go. Go ahead and head on over to your data tab. And in your data tab, you have your data tools group. Check it out. And then we can click on the data validation drop down. Click on data validation. Click. And then now the data validation dialog box appears. And it wants to know where is that list. Because we're going to allow from a list. Well, where's the source of that list? Well, that list, we have it right down here. And you can put that list anywhere. We've got other videos on data validation. Just a couple of weeks ago, I did a whole series on drop-down list. So now we can say, okay, we don't need an input message or an error alert. That's optional. You can go ahead and put one if you like, but we don't need one in this case. And then now we've got our data validation where I can say, hey, there's quarter two. That looks correct. There's quarter three. That's correct. There's quarter four. Boom. Yes. And what else happens when we get the answer right in Excel? Angels from heaven is what we hear. So there you go, my friend. Go ahead and use the X lookup and enjoy it. Have fun. No fear. Don't get mad. Get skills. And while you're at it, 
Remember to keep on learning. Go check out don'tgetmaggotskills.com. And when you're at don'tgetmaggotskills.com, you're going to land right here on this page. And right here, you'll be able to see the upcoming classes. And every month, I teach the seven steps to excel success, the basic class to help you lay a solid foundation. I teach it for free to 15 students. So come on down, check out Don't Get Mad, Get Skills. Sign up for some of these classes right here. I recommend you attend them all. They're all going to be about an hour, hour and a half max. And you're going to get yourself some good basic Excel skills. You can also go ahead and check out the live classes on that drop down. Click on workshops. And when you go to workshops, you're going to see the upcoming workshops that I have. This one just passed. I got to go ahead and update my website. As soon as we're done with this live stream, I'm updating my website. But here's where you'll see the upcoming workshops and highlights from past workshops. It's a lot of fun. Then you can go to all courses and pick one of these courses or even join up our $7 a month, 7 Steps to Excel Success VIP membership. Check it out. You're going to get a free three-day trial. Click right there on that button. And here you'll see the contents of this membership and all the benefits that you're going to get with it. It rocks. We're giving it all we have here at Don't Get Mad, Get Skills. And my friends, I encourage you, keep on learning. Stay positive, And most of all, don't get mad. Get skills. Aloha.